Hello everyone. Sorry if you can hear a fan running. It's really hot down here. So I have a fan on. Welcome to the uh, fourth collection video. Okay, fifth collection video that I'm doing. Today I will be doing my biggest collection. It is a big one. It's In fact, it's so big I might make a part two, but maybe not. I'll try to get as much stuff in here as I can. Today I will be showing off my Teletubbies collection. A lot of you really like Teletubbies, so I think you'll like this video. And of course, and of course, if you know my, all my collection videos, there's one, there's one thing I always like to put in my collection videos. Sparky. Yep, here he is again. All right, so. You can't see you can't see it, but I have a shelf full of Teletubby stuff. There's like DVDs, books, toys. There's a whole lot of things. <coughs> so yeah, I, I I'll be grabbing stuff one at a time. The first thing I brought out was the uh, videotapes. Actually, I forgot one videotape. I will be right back. So I'll yeah I'll, I'll go get that. Okay, now I have all the tapes with me. So yeah, first I'm going to show you the uh, Teletubby videotapes that I have. And of course, the first one I want to show you is on the bottom of the stack that I have. Yeah, this is the... Here's the uh, first of the tapes that I want to show you. I want to say this is the first tape they ever had. It's the Here Comes the Teletubbies one. See, it's got the old PBS Kids logo. This was before they, I don't, I think this was before they added their characters. And on the side there's the Teletubbies and it says Volume 1, so I guess this is the first tape. And it has all these pictures. Maybe I'll show off, maybe I'll show off all these things in order. Hmm, no, maybe I won't. Alright, so here is the uh, Bunny Day videotape. This is volume 5. Yeah, more pictures on the back. I like this picture of the new new. And what if I was to tell you I have another one? I, I almost forgot that there was a reason I got two copies. I'll show you why. It, Remember in my Atomic Betty collection video how I have like a pamphlet in one of the things? This has pamphlets too. See, it's got all these things. Look at that, a whole Teletubbies bag and a little new new thing. Yeah, I, I don't think this I don't think this works. I better not let that blow away. Here's the other pamphlet. See, it's got all the tapes there. I'll show you some of those in a minute. There's like all this stuff here. Teletubby toys. And all this. Is there anything on the other side? Yep. Books. Here is the uh, the very dusty nursery rhymes videotape. This is volume three. And it's got more pictures. Anyone seen the clip with the spider? Because that's that's pretty funny. Yeah, these are all about an hour long. Here's the very first tape that I got. It's Go Exercise with the Teletubbies, and it's got one of the uh, PBS Kid characters on there. And it's got the Teletubbies on the side. I like this picture and how it looks. Yeah. 
I think this is a more newer videotape. I actually have a DVD version of this too. Here's volume two, Dance with the Teletubbies. I like these pictures. See, it's volume two. Back has more pictures. As I think about it, these are all pretty much the same. Here is Favorite Things. I actually have not watched this tape yet. This is volume four. Then it has this picture. I have a poster with this exact picture on it, but I cannot show you the poster because because it um it's, it's hanging on my ceiling so I can't really show it to you. Here is the uh, big hug tape. This is volume 6. All that I, I'm going to get that price tag off cuz the picture looks interesting. Okay, okay, you know what, I can't get the price tag off. It has these pictures. <clears throat> Look at that picture there. And here is, uh, here is Bedtime Stories and Lullabies. I've watched this tape multiple times. This, oh, this one doesn't say anything. It just says Big Hug on the side. That's the picture I saw in the other thing I was trying to show you. Look at that picture of Poe reading a book. Uh, speaking of Poe, I did this poll. I did this poll on YouTube asking you who was your favorite Teletubby. There was a lot. There was a lot of answers on a. Everyone said either all of them or Poe. I did this because I have all my Teletubby toys organized by the different Teletubbies and I wasn't sure who to show off first. I'll just I'll just show them off randomly. There's only one Teletubby tape I haven't shown you yet, and it's a big one. No really, it's a big one. It's it's a Merry Christmas Teletubbies. I was very happy to find this. Because it's got all the uh, Christmas specials. Yeah, it's very big. It has this picture here. See, look at that. Now, I didn't show you the tapes of the other ones, but I'm going to show you these tapes because of how they look. It's got a red tape and a green tape. Yeah, this one says Dipsy and Lala's presents. This one is Tinky Winky and Poe's presents. I've gotten different colored tapes before, like I've I got a blue one, a white one, and a orange one, but I've never got a green one or a red one before. Actually, I did get a red one before. So yeah, those are all the videotapes. I'm going to pause for a minute and then get the DVDs next. Okay, next thing I'm going to show you is DVDs. I've noticed with my... Octonaut collection, Atomic Betty collection, and Teletubbies collection, I have DVDs of all these shows. So yeah. I'm gonna show you some DVDs. Now, I, I'll let you know in advance that I have DVDs of the old Teletubbies show and the new Teletubbies show. What about... I like both of the Teletubbies shows, but I mainly watch the old one the most. What about you? Do you like the old show or the new show? You could tell me if you want to. Look, it's a DVD. This DVD, this DVD was one of the uh, best finds I've found because it was a Goodwill that had just opened, and the first time I went there, I found this, the Look DVD. And it's got a picture of Poe there. I know they have other DVDs that have like simple titles and all the other Teletubbies, which means there's one with Dipsy on it. He's my favorite, in case you didn't know that. Yeah, and it has all these cool pictures on the back. Yeah, there's a bunch that look like this, just saying. Let's see, what else do we have? We have... We have All Together Teletubbies. What does this say? It says, Teletubbies Teaches Happiness. 
they're pretty much the same on the backs. Uh, here's one of the first few I found. Naughty New New. See, this one has the New New on it. The New New's on the side. And here is Baby Animals. Yeah, and this one's different on the back. Yeah, I like this picture. This dog here was from the first Teletubbies episode that I watched. Not the first one ever, but the first one when I started watching the show. Oh, here's one of the uh, new Teletubby DVDs. This one's called Big Hugs. This was made for the 20th anniversary of Teletubbies, I think. Because this was like the theme they did to celebrate 20 years of Teletubbies. Yeah. Oh, here's another. Here's another one. This one's called Silly Fun. It come it came with some it came with a toy which I will show you later. Yeah, it has Poe on the side. This box is actually very simple compared to what they used to do. I mean, see look at that. See that? Uh, here's what I was talking about, the DVD version of Go Exercise with the Teletubbies, except this one has like a little fun picture on it. There's Lala, the Sun Baby, Poe, Dipsy, Tinky Winky. Yeah, I like the little thing on the side. And then it just repeats on the back, but Lala is missing for some reason. Oh, here's the first of the new Teletubby DVDs that I got. It's called Snowball. I remember seeing this episode at a hotel once, and it has one of those things. I do. Why do DVDs have those things that go in like that? I don't know. By the way, from what I can remember, number four is not the same as the old number four. From what I can remember. Here is a blue sky. I've heard somewhere that this is a very rare DVD, I think. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I do have the one with Dipsy on it. See, it's called Again Again, and it has Dipsy on there. Yep. I haven't really looked through these DVDs in a while, so I forgot I had this. Oh, and look at that, I have the, um, I also have What's That, which has Lala on the front. Now I just need to find the one with Tinky Winky, because I have Poe, Lala, Dipsy, but I don't have Tinky Winky yet, with all these. And here is, uh, and here is All Fall Down. One of my really old videos I did was a whole was a whole collection of clips of the Teletubbies falling down. I made that because the Teletubbies, they fall down a bunch. And I want to show that to everyone that the Teletubbies, they fall down a bunch. Look at this picture of Dipsy. Alright, here's another new Teletubbies DVD. It's called Twinkle Twinkle. Yeah, the, the new Teletubbies does something the old Teletubbies didn't do. Where there are some episodes that take place in the night time, and the old Teletubbies didn't do that. And like it says, it's got a meat dipsy thing. Alright, uh, these discs... These discs, they're, they're new disc, but it has the old show. This one is making music. See, it says Teletubbies classic. And on the side it has Tinky Winky on the side. Did you hear that noise? I hear a noise. Yeah, this has like three episodes. This one here has like a funny clip of Lala playing the guitar. Let's see, what else do we have? We have Let's Go For A Ride. I like all these pictures I put on the DVDs. This one also has Tinky Winky on the side. It has all these pictures. 
Uh, let's see. Big hugs and baby animals. And it has Poe on the side. What are these things? I don't know if you can hear it, but there's like this noise and it's driving me crazy a little. And then we are continuing on. Uh, we have the learning colors. Look, there's Dipsy. Oh, and Dipsy's on the side. See, it's got the episodes blue, yellow, red. Hey, those are Pikmin colors. Oh, and I, I showed these in my DVD collection video, but I'll show them again. The Teletubbies 10th Anniversary Time to Dance DVD. And the Fan Favorites Teletubbies DVD with over 8 hours of fun. Yeah, I showed these in my DVD collection video. I try to show off as many stuff as I can. The, this one, though, however, does not show what episodes are on here. It just shows a, a small list, and that's it. And I don't remember all the episodes on here. Yeah, and then there's, like, the disc. They all look the same. Yeah. At least with the Spongebob DVD I have, it shows an, an episode list. I'll show that Spongebob DVD in a different video. I was thinking of making a DVD collection part 2 video, so that I have more DVDs. Hmm, what should I show off next? I think I will show off the books next, so I will go get the books. Wow, a lot of stuff. I've not touched all this in so long, it's became dusty. I not only brought books, but I also brought a couple of other things. Alright, first thing I'm going to show you is the, uh, this was an old birthday present I got. The Teletubbies Pocket Library. I mentioned about this in my, uh, I mentioned about this in my Octonauts video. So I was talking about how I wanted an Octonauts library thing, and I have a Paw Patrol one, and I have a Teletubbies one. Yeah, here's the Teletubbies one. And you can see they all make a picture. Let's see if I can make the picture. Oh yeah, all the uh, books are like different characters and such. Why is that one upside down? Why? Why is that one upside down? Let's see if I can do this. I, I've done this before. Yeah, see, there we go. It's all it's all coming together. Oh, I see this one goes here. Yay, I did it. A complete puzzle. Alright, now I need to put those back in the right order. Oh yeah, this one is the uh, Lala book. It was upside down for some reason. Let's see what's this one. The Tubby Custard Machine. Oh, Dipsy. That's my favorite one. Let's see, the Nunu, who is uh, orange and pink in this show. Let's see what's this one. Oh, Tinky Winky. And that means the one I have left is Poe. Yep. There, every, there, they're all back. Oh, I almost forgot about this. This is a, uh, a Teletubbies coloring book. This is like a special coloring book where, like, the pic most of the pictures are already colored in, and then you, and then they. And then you can like add on to them or yeah. This is the only page I colored in though. Alright, let's see. Uh... Alright, I'll show off some books. Yeah, here is the uh, Teletubbies Love to Sing. One of those that makes music. I'm not gonna press any buttons because it's it's like 12 a.m. right now. 
and everyone went to bed. But I remember I always pressed that button. I've seen other books with the same little thing like this one. Yeah. I like this picture on the side. It says Teletubbies love books and they're all reading a book. Oh good, this thing is still recording. Oh, it's a, uh, oh I see, it's a play a song book. Oh, I should have, I don't know if you saw the music list on here. Songs you would normally hear in Teletubbies. And speaking of that new new picture I liked, this is the most newest addition to my collection. The new new tidies up. See, the new new is cleaning up tubby toast and tubby custard. Alright, I've got some big books, like really big books. This is the Here Comes the Teletubbies book. It has the same title as the tape I was just showing you, except this is a book. It has pictures of all the Teletubbies on there. I'm going to put that book next to the Octolab that I forgot to put away from my Octonauts video. Oh, here's a good one because it's like re a really interesting book. It's, it says Teletubbies Annual 2000. You can't see it because it's like really big. Yeah, there. See, it's really big. And they're sparky, so yeah, this is a big book. It has a bunch of fun activities inside. Let me see if I can like show off some of these. Oh, yeah, there's like a board game. It has all the Teletubbies on there. And it has all these activities and stories and stuff. I don't know how much, how well you can see all that. Yeah, it was, it was, it's a really cool book. And here's the first Teletubby book that I got right here. Yeah, it's called The Happy Day. The thing about this book, I still remember it, is that this book, it comes with little stand things, but this one did not came with the stand, so I actually made my own. Let's see if they're still in here. Yep. Yeah, see, I made my own. This is the art style I used to do. So yeah, I, I made my own. I, I thought that was cool. Alright, here's some other things I'm going to show you. Here is a Teletubbies PC video game. Yeah. I ordered this online, but after ordering it, I found a, uh, I found a, I found like a, another one in a thrift store. I played this game a couple of times. Yeah. So I can say that, uh, I can say that all the great crossroads, great, I don't know. Sorry about that. I can say that all the great crossword boys have appeared in a video game except for one. Obviously with this game I use Dipsy the most. So yeah. It says it works on Windows 98 and 95 but it works on newer computers too because I was able to play it on my new computer or old computer that's new for this game if you get what I'm saying. Alright here's something. It was around Valentine's Day and, I, and there was a thrift store selling a bunch of old Valentine packages, and I got excited because I found a Teletubbies Valentine set. And apparently it was at Dollar General at one time. Let's see, it's been a while since I looked through this. Yeah, see, look at that. It has fun pictures and all these pictures. Oh, there is one with Gypsy on it. And it comes with stickers. I don't know what happened to the stickers. Oh, there's the stickers. Yeah, see? It's a bunch of different messages and tubby toast and tubby custard splats. I used them at some of these stickers on my phone to see they've been used. My phone has stickers on it by the way. 
in case you didn't know that. And then it comes with this whole thing. Alright, let me put all that back. Okay, I hope that doesn't fall off. There's like a very bad setup here. Oops, that almost fell low. Alright, so I have something interesting to show you. So, so there was this Toys R Us and they had a Teletubbies box and I got to take home that box. I'll have to show you that box in a minute because it's filled with stuff. Alright, I'll just show you the box filled with the stuff. Yeah, see, there's the box. There's Sparky. Alright, I'll show you everything that's in here. This is a really heavy box, by the way. It's filled with a bunch of books. We've got Teletubbies Love to Jump. It's, it's a very squishy. I don't know if squishy is the right word. Like, it's not the, it's not the good kind of squishy. It's just plastic squishy. I'm not good at describing squishiness. Alright, these are hints of something I'll show you later. See, it says Teletubby keychains and it has like these backgrounds. I remember that logo. Ah, this one. The Magic Telescope. That's based off of something from Teletubbies and Gypsy's hat is very fluffy. I don't know if you can see that's fluffy. And speaking of Gypsy, this is one of my favorite books, Dipsy Loves to Dance. Yeah. You can see there's like three others, but this is the only one I have. This is dusty. Alright, let's see. Here is a Poe's Magic Watering Can. And we have, uh, we have Teletubbies Like to Dance. This book, like, is weirdly bent in some way. And then it says, look for Teletubbies Play Hide and Seek. But I don't have to because it's right here. And it's in this one's in better condition than the other one. I don't I don't know what happened to that one. Let's see, what else? Oh well, there's like all these flat flat books, because they're flat. Let's see. We have Dipsy Dances. I have two books with Dipsy dancing. And we have a dancing with the skirt. Look at that picture of Poe there. Four happy Teletubbies. Go, Poe, go. And Tubby Custard Mess. I've got Teletubby books of all kinds. Big ones, small ones. But I also have uh, books of the new show. We have Goodnight Teletubbies here. And, uh, yeah, this one, I should have mentioned that I, this was at a Walmart and I really wanted this. And look, there's all more books here. And I own this one, which I will show you now. It's, uh, it's Meet the Teletubbies, and it's got tabs on top. See tabs? I like tab books. Yeah, because I used to own tab books with, like, this teddy bear that ate an egg. It ate an egg. That was all I could remember. I don't know what happened to that book or what that book was, and I think I had an animal counting book, too. There's also tab books of Blue's Clues and Butterbean's Cafe, but I don't own those. Alright, now the last thing in the box that I was going to show you... Yeah, this was really cool. One of my favorite things to my collection. Teletubby shoes. 
Look at these, they're tiny. Obviously I can't wear the shoes, but they're Teletubby shoes, so I had to get them. You can see it's all shiny like that. It has a picture of the Teletubbies giving, they're all giving each other a hug. And then on the bottom, it says left and right, and it has pictures of the Teletubbies on there. Oh yeah, and it says Teletubbies in there. It's got the logo and it says size 2. Tiny Teletubby shoes. Alright, here is the, uh, here's the box all on its own. Oh, I actually forgot about one thing in here, but I'll show you the box first. Yeah, these came with little tiny stuffed animals. So yeah, that's the box. There's actually something in the box that I forgot to show you. Yeah. Uh, before you ask, no, I did not actually go to this. It was just something that I got as a birthday present. These are Teletubby hotel cards. See, it has Poe on there. Yeah, very cool. Alright, I need to put all that back. It's sparky. But I have other things to show you. I've got some more things. I've got some more Teletubby related stuff to show you. I have more Teletubby related stuff to show you and I will um and then I'll get to the really good stuff. First thing I'm gonna show you, this was another birthday present. A new new thermos. It has a picture of the new new and then it just says thermos on the side. Yeah, I did not know this was a thing. A new new thermos. Let's see, what does it look like inside? I don't know why I'm opening it. Oh, okay. I don't think I've ever actually opened this before. Yeah, there's the inside. Nothing much. I will now show you the very first thing to ever be added to my Teletubby collection. These Teletubby dominoes. This is the very first thing to my collection. Oh yeah, and there's that picture again I was talking about. Yeah, it comes with all these... Oh, this was the one I was hoping to pull out. Yeah, so you're supposed to put them together like that. There's like a whole bunch of them. Oops. So yeah. And here we have some tubby toast pieces. Oh that's right, they are all different. Yeah, so you put them together like that and you're supposed to share them with friends. I have three tubby toast. They're all like they're all like that. Here's some more teletubby puzzles. There's this one. And this one. And there's this one. These are all 24-piece puzzles, by the way. And then we got this big one. And see, you can you can hang it on a wall. I should hang it on a wall. But let's not forget about these. Alright, so, so there's these board games. I, I count these as my, part of my Teletubby collection. These are, these are cards of, like, quiz stuff. This is from a Trivial Pursuit game. And then there's all the answers. 
yeah, see, this is from the Trivial Pursuit. And then there's this other board game. I can't remember what it was called, but I knew from the name that it had to be, um, it had to be, like, um, a game where there were, you had to answer four questions, and I had a feeling there was Teletubbies in there. So I searched through the whole cards looking for Teletubbies, and I found it. See? It says, name all four Teletubbies, and that says, Poe, Dipsy, Tinky Winky, and Lala. And I thought that was really cool. Oh, there's the name of the game, For Real. Yeah, see? Alright, now I'm going to show you some good stuff. I think you're going to like all this. Okay, I'm back. Uh, well, now I'm going to show you, I have stuffed toys of each of the Teletubbies. I decide that, since I saw in my poll that with just one e of each Teletubby, since Poe was the one that was mostly one, everyone's favorite, I mean Poe seems to be the most popular of all the Teletubbies, I decide I'll show you all my Poes first, except there's one Poe that I'm not going to show you that just yet because I'm saving that one for last. You'll, you'll see why. Alright, so, so here's, so here's a little Poe keychain, that would explain all the keychains things you saw earlier. I remember these break easily because I tried using one of them and it broke, so I don't use them as keychains. Alright, let's see, here is a, here is another Poe, this was an old McDonald's toy, and like, the, it opens, the hands move and like, you could put it on your finger like that. Uh, let's see, what other Poe's do I have? Alright, I'll show off this one. Here is the, uh, the uh, Burger King toy of Poe. Oh yeah, I forgot the uh, the Burger King ones. They have like velvet. They have like little. I don't know if velvet's the right word. I forgot what these are. Velcro. It's Velcro, and they they're on the on their hands, so like you can make them do stuff. And then they like have like they're supposed to be finger puppets, so you can make them walk around. Yeah. Oh yeah, and they're and they're like they they like have little beans inside. All right, what other pose do I have? All right, we have a even bigger Poe here. Yeah, this one like closes its eyes. Yeah. And let's see, we have this big Poe right here. This is the talking one, but it does not talk because it didn't came with the sound box. See, it looks like empty in there. But the good news is, I actually have one that talks, and it's right here. Unfortunately, I cannot make it talk at the moment because, it's, again, it's like 12 a.m. and everyone went to sleep. But maybe when I get the chance, I could like show off all the talking Teletubbies. Yes, I own all of them. Oh, I forgot to put a book away. Let's see, here is a, another one. I turned this one off. It's a, uh, it's like a, a tickling Poe. You like touch here and it's, and she starts giggling. Yeah. Let's see, I have some more Poes. They're on top of my refrigerator. I just want to say my refrigerator is very fun looking. All right, here's a, here's another Poe. This one also talks. It's got like a picture of the sun baby on there, see? Let's see, there you can see the... Yeah, you can see the whole thing. Alright, here is the, uh... Here's the jumping Poe. I need to be extra careful with this one because this one can like go off very easily and it'll just start jumping and going crazy. So I need to be extra careful with dealing with it so I don't so I don't wake up anybody. Uh I did not realize I was still recording. Uh, and then here's one of my favorites because I was looking for one of these and I finally found one. The uh, munch and slurp po. See it 
She has a tubby toast and tubby custard and wears a bib. Yeah. I was so happy to found, find that. Alright, let's see. I I think I will show you, um, I wouldn't, I wonder what Teletubby I'll show you next. I think I will, I think I will show off all the Tinky Winkies next. Okay. You won't believe how hard that was. Uh, I gathered up all my Tinky Winkies, so I'm gonna show you all the Tinky Winkies next. Here we have a, a the keychain Tinky Winky. A tiny, tiny keychain. And to go in the same order as like with the Poe toys, here is the uh, McDonald's toy of Tinky Winky. Yeah. You can't tell, but this actually kind of hurts right now. Let's see, what else? Uh, here's the Burger King toy of Tinky Winky. And let's see, we've... And then there's this toy. It's like a little small toy. It comes with this tag. And then it's got all that stuff. Alright, let's see what else. Okay, here's the, uh, here's the talking Tinky Winky right here. Again, I can't make them talk because it's very late. Let's see, here is a, uh, here's a nightlight Tinky Winky. And I can actually show this one in action because it doesn't make noise. The light, the light is supposed to turn on, I don't know what happened there. And let's see, wait, there's, there's just one more, no wait, there's not one more. And here's another Tinky Winky, this one also talks. This is like the one with Poe. It's got like a picture of a bunny. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Alright, and here's, and here's the really big Tinky Winky. It's a backpack. Has Tinky Winky on the side. Now it has a my first visit to Disney World pin. Before you ask, no, I did not take this to Disney World on my first visit because I didn't have this at the time. It's just it just happens to be on there. I wonder if there's any stuff inside. Nope, there's nothing. All right, I'm gonna show you all the Lala's next. I just realized there was one Tinky Winky I forgot to show you. It's this little plastic toy right here. It's like a stand. Yeah, I meant to show off that one. Alright, now onto the Lala's. Alright. So first, we have Keychain Lala. Oh, this was the one that broke, see? See, these aren't... Yeah, that's the one that broke. Alright. And there's the McDonald's keychain Lala, right here. This one also hurts when I do that. Let's see, we also have the, um, oh, I almost forgot the, uh, the Burger King toy. Okay, I don't know what's, I don't know, I don't know what's with that flower there. Let me get that off. Yeah. And what else? Oh yeah, here's the, um, then here's this toy of Lala right here. Also, closes eyes like, uh, the one of Poe does. Alright, what else? Uh, here's the, uh, here's a newer toy of Lala. This is like the one with Poe where this one laughs and giggles, except I turned it off. Alright, what else? Uh, here's the jumping Lala, right here. I should make sure these turn off because they go off very easily. Alright, let's see. Oh, great. Okay, I got it. Here's the backpack Lala, right here. Smaller than the Tinky Winky and has no pins on it. 
but is there anything inside? Nope. There's nothing inside. Let's see, here is a... Yeah, here's a... Here's a talking Lala right here. A newer talking Lala. And then I also have the, the old ones, too. Yeah, here's the talking Lala. And like Poe, this one does not talk. And also like Poe, I got... I got another one that does talk. Yeah, this is actually in very nice condition from what I'm seeing. Alright. So that means the only Teletubby I have left to show you is Dipsy. And he's my favorite one. Also, just wanted to show you this quick thing before I forgot. It's a, This is the uh, Burger King toy of the Nunu. -Nu. Yeah, see so you put see so like the Nunu does like it's like slurpy. I could have fun with this. Okay, I need to stop that. I I realized there was one Poe I forgot to show you. It was this one. The one that came in the DVD. I mentioned I was gonna show this one, but I almost forgot. Yeah, so yeah, this is the box. And what it all looks like. Alright, so I only have one Teletubby to show, and it's my favorite one, Dipsy. Wanna know something weird? I actually own less Dipsies than I do of the other Teletubbies. Yeah. Alright, so here's the keychain. Yeah. Uh, let's see, the... Here's the McDonald's toy. The, the little thing is missing on this one. All right, what else? Uh, oh yeah, the the uh, Burger King toy. Yeah, this is like my best Dipsy here because it's like a decent size and and like and just like with my Octonauts video, I got two of the great crossword boys, but but the other two aren't here because one I don't have the other toy with me and one I don't have a toy of the other one. All right, let's see. Oh, here's a good one right here. It's like a Tsum Tsum sort of thing. This, this is one of my favorites. I call it I call it Mini Dipsy. My sister calls it the Dipsy Worm because it's very worm-like. They have they have ones of the other Teletubbies, but I only got Dipsy. Look at this thing. All right, what else? Oh yeah, this this is another recent addition to my collection. Another birthday present. This toy of Dipsy right here. This is very detailed looking. Yeah. And here is here is another Dipsy right here. It's just like that toy of Tinky Winky. Don't worry, it doesn't talk. Oh, well, let's see. Here is, here is the light up Dipsy. For some reason, doesn't light up either. I don't know what's, I don't know what happened to those. Yeah, look how nice looking this is. This actually came with a box. Like these were never opened, and they're nice. They're very nice looking. All right, and here's my most favorite Dipsy of all the Dipsies that I have. So to tell you a story, one time I was at a thrift store. And I said, if I was to find a stuffed toy of Dipsy, I would get one. And I did find one. Right as right after I said that, I found one. Here it is, the talking Dipsy. Yeah, I've, I've used this one quite a lot. I, don't, I wonder if the batteries still work. And I should let you know that when I got this toy of Sparky, this toy of Dipsy was here. So, yeah. Alright, I only have... I only have two more things to show you, but they're so big that I can't fit them on this display. So yeah, let me put away all these Dipsies and then I will show off the things. There's all the Dipsies right there. And then there's the box I was telling you about. And I have the box to some other Teletubby toys too. 
All right, above that, this is what I call the Teletubbies lawnmower. You see, it's a lawnmower, so it's got wheels, and you pull it, so it's like a lawnmower. Yeah, and then, well, I only have one thing left to show, and it's a big thing. But first, here's all this, the other stuff I didn't show off. Oh, yeah, and there's a pig. Here's, here's the thing I've been waiting to show you. Yes, it's a giant Poe. The smallest Teletubby and I own a big one. Look at that. That was like one of the best things that I got. Just look at that. Look at it compared to all these other Poes. I guess I could show you the whole display so you can see how much stuff there is of the Teletubbies. Oh yeah, and there's the boxes to my pop figures. Yeah, so that's that's everything all together. And now we're back at the table where I accidentally dropped Sparky. He he looks okay. Sorry, Sparky. All right. So I don't know if you can tell I sound really tired. So that was a lot getting all that Teletubby stuff. I have a very big Teletubby collection, but I'm sure there's someone out there with a much bigger collection than I do. So, so yeah, that was the Teletubbies collection. So, for my next collection video, I've had some ideas of what I want to do. So, soon I will leave a poll on what collection video I should do next. So you can, so you can do the poll and like, so yeah, the next collection video is a mystery. I have some other videos I'm going to work on. Including an art challenge and something and something unusual. The art challenge and the something unusual, they're different things. Are we sure that Sparky is okay though? Like, I'm, I'm sure he's fine. I dropped him, you know. I dropped him and I yelled, no, Sparky. But he, he looks okay. Alright, well, that's all for this video. Oh wait, before I finish, I want to do something. Teletubbies on my hand. Alright, so that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Go have some fun. Enjoy your summer. Don't let anyone stop you from being awesome. And have a tubby-tastic day. Hello everyone, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate the support. Thank you for watching, now go have some fun.